Now here I am with the lovely, the talented, the, the pink besweater, <laughs> Denise Mangan of Beyond the Groove and Club Red. Denise, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And so let's um, talk. We always, with the guests on the show, we always say, how did you get to tell your ride and what have you been doing? I know a little bit about this because I had your lovely children in school. That's right. You mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. Back in the day. Back in the day. But you, maybe even back farther in the day, came to Telluride for some reason. I Tell came to Telluride that. in 1985. Wow. So 33 years ago now. Uh, for what? Well, I was, I was traveling around anyway. I had lived in Breckenridge and Boulder, and um, then I went back to Ireland, and then I went to Switzerland, and then I came to Telluride. So it's, that's a... It was a time of moving around in my life, and then I moved to Telluride in 1985, and so. What made you stay? In 1985, not a lot to do. Tennis, movies, Didn't right? play tennis. No. Skied. Skied, okay. Fell in love. Yeah. You know, built my family, built yeah. my life, and it's, it's been very good to me. Well, we love that you're here, and um, we love what you're doing. So tell me a little bit about um, Club Red. Club Red is a thing that you started a little while ago up in Mountain Village to bring live music to Mountain Village. So tell me a little bit about that. We opened Club Red in <clears throat> March of 2014, so almost five years ago now. Mm -hmm. We've done over 65 shows wow. in those five years. And it's a, it's, it's a club in the Telluride Conference Center. So okay. um, I, I love music. I've worked the festivals in Telluride since 1986. Mm -hmm. I've worked every music event that's been in the town park mm -hmm. since 1986. A variety of different jobs from organizing the trash crew to actually booking yeah. the talent depending on the festival. And, um, and I really enjoy it. And I, I was asked if I was, would be interested in bringing music to the mountain village. And so um, in August of 2013, we stood in the Telluride Conference Center and I thought, yes, I would, but this is a 1,000 person venue. You it's can huge. do this. You can do this two or three times a year if you're lucky. Mm. And, and I had been in the Conference Center uh, only a couple of times where that wall was, was put in, and yeah. it's a whole different format. Yeah. And so, you know, I talked to, the, to them about that, and, and we came up with the idea of you know, almost a pop-up club, really. Mm -hmm. And and it was designed and, and um, put into motion. And and we opened in the following March um, with Blitz and Trapper. They didn't know they were the first they show. Didn't, oh, they didn't know? <laughs> that's, no. how, that's how stealthy the club was. <laughs> if you wouldn't know, I have to say, you wouldn't know... What you would you wouldn't know from the outside what this thing's going to look like, and if you've been in the conference center, you know if you've been to the AIDS benefit or anything like that, where they use the entire thing, like <clears throat> the club is really a, very much a pop up club. You sort of go in the back, and then there's a whole bunch of tables and some really beautiful lighting. You guys have done such a great job. You wouldn't know that you're sort of you know squeezed into the back there yes. of a giant one thousand person conference. Yes, center. and we use a different door, mm -hmm. and um, you know the lighting, mm -hmm. the the. Uh, the furnishings, the risers, the bar inside, and 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 um, then we ended up, or not we, but a, a sound system was purchased. Mm -hmm. So that was a big move, maybe two years later, which was a great um, show of support. Mm -hmm. Telluride Ski and Golf Company and TMVOA are really great mm -hmm. supporters of Club Red, and have been from day one. And um, so we, you know, just it just continued. It just continued to grow, and mm -hmm. and we have a variety of musicians. Yeah, and tell me about your variety of musicians, because Blitz and Trap. I know Blitz and Trapper. I think they're a great band. They're a great indie band that I don't think ever would have come to tell you right were it not for you, mm -hmm. right? Um, originally booking them at Winefest or That's something. Correct. Like that. That's right. Originally That's at correct. Winefest, I remember seeing them. Um, but then you, there's all these other bands that have come through. So are, tell me about some of the bands that have come through. Well, we. All kinds of genres, mm -hmm. uh, every, uh, different genres, mm -hmm. you know, it's a matter of knowing music and knowing your market and, mm -hmm. and knowing what people want. Mm -hmm. And and the nice thing about Club Red is that it, it can be formatted from a, a, a small, you know, 400 person capacity, which is not that small. That's mm -hmm. quite a few tickets to sell. Yeah, that's right. Up to, you know, the, the 950 size. And um, so we've had 
you know, Blitz and Trap or Deer Tick and Mattis Yahoo mm-hmm. were our first shows yes, in two, 2014. Just throw some of those names out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and, but we've since done, you know, we had Dwight Yoakam uh-huh. in 2016. STS9, Michael mm-hmm. Franti. So yeah. there's there's some of the bigger names we've put mm-hmm. in, but we we continue to, uh, you know, bring bring artists who haven't been here, mm-hmm. artists that I like, mm-hmm. um, artists that are emerging. That's really mm-hmm. where my passion lies mm-hmm. is is the the upcoming artists not all of them having um proficient mandolin skills <laughs> which is Correct. which is the normal the normal thing here in the valley which is lovely i mean bluegrass is a is a lovely uh genre but you brought um a lot of these indie bands and these folks that mm-hmm. you're naming as singers songwriters those mm-hmm. kind of things a per- person like dwight yoakam might not get a stage here unless um you of course build it in mountain yes. village yes 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 and mm-hmm. and uh, y- you know, mixing up the genre is important, mm-hmm. but you know, also you have to, you have to book what what people want, mm-hmm. and um, like the Motet is an example of that. Yeah, this the is great, this is the fifth year the Motet will be mm-hmm. playing at Club Red. They, you know, and uh, and now of course they sell lots of tickets. I think last year they sold mm-hmm. six hundred tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, but I will, you know, I'm so proud of Devandra Banhart, for example. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And getting him here, and uh, so I just kind of follow my my passion and what I feel is good music. You know, it, that's what it boils down to. It's not really an issue of genre; it's yeah. an issue of good music. And speaking, and you know, good music. I know you do because we've listened to your music for years. So, so um, speaking of following your passion, Beyond the Groove. Tell me a little bit about Beyond the Groove. What's that all about? Well, Beyond the Groove <laughs> is my music production company mm-hmm. that books the the talent. Mm-hmm. So I set that up in 2014 mm-hmm. when we were setting up Club Red, maybe a little bit before it. So so that's my business. Okay. And and Beyond the Groove books the talent at Club Red. And then for the last two summers, mm-hmm. we've been putting on shows in the Heritage Plaza on Friday nights, mm-hmm. Free Music in the Mountain Village on Friday nights. Oh, that's right. And Beyond the Groove books, books those as well. That's great. So if we wanted to use Beyond the Groove for something to book some music, we could contact you? That's me. Okay. I am Beyond the Groove, Colin. <laughs> As always, <laughs> you would be on the group. Um, and then tell me a little bit uh, about some, some events that might be coming up at Club Red this year. Well, we have four shows announced, okay. um, and then we have a couple more in the works for March. Mm-hmm. So on December 27th, mm-hmm. we have Corey Henry and the Funk Apostles. Mm-hmm. And he... I don't know what that is, but it's an amazing name. Corey Henry. Uh, yes. I want to go to it. Well, Corey Henry... Corey Henry uh, subscribes to what I call, or is called, the Nazareth syndrome in the music okay. business, where an artist um, goes away <clears throat> and is quite popular somewhere else before yeah. he comes back. Corey oh, Henry's yeah. very popular back where I'm from. The Nazareth syndrome. Isn't that funny? Did you make that up? No, I did not. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he's quite popular in Ireland and England. Oh, okay. And so I've been aware of him for quite some time. He was he also played at the Telluride Jazz Festival this okay. summer. He's quite a prodigy. Mm-hmm. He's um, being pl- he has been playing piano since he was two, mm-hmm. when his mum was in the choir, and he started to just pick the notes and play the music. So he's he's a guy we want to catch. Absolutely. Okay. And he you know he played in the Apollo Theater when he was six. He's got three Amazing. Grammys, and uh, he plays the Hammond B three. Okay. And it's he's very lively. For a funk musician, he sings a lot. It's okay. not instrumental. He sings yeah. a lot, does covers very lively. That's mm-hmm. December 27th. It's our mm-hmm. holiday show. Right. Then we have a funk weekend in January, mm-hmm. um, which is the Floozies on Friday, January 11th, ah, and the, the Motet on January 12th. Don't miss either one of those bands. That's right. So, And we have we have a, a, a tickets. You can go to one show, mm-hmm. or if you go to one, you get a discount on the other. So we have a weekend special Great. for a little funk. And what else is going on? And then on February 5th, we have J.J. Gray and Mofro. Great. So that's a an artist I've been writing for for a long time. I mean, mm-hmm. the artists you secure, I secure, I can go back years and years of mm-hmm. threads of persistent asking yes, would sure. be a nice way to put it. Yeah. So um, we have, that's our February show. And then we'll have 
probably I don't know two two or three other shows Great. a few things in the works we'll see what I get it takes you know it takes a lot to get the our timing the band's timing mm. you know all the pieces of the puzzle together mm. to actually secure and confirm a show yes. and then run with producing it but so once they're secure all you got to do is buy some tickets and that's get there, right. right that's all you have to do <laughs> how and how would they do that club red tell you right.com club red tell you right.com denise mungan thank you so much You're for welcome. being a force for amazing music here in the community and thanks so much for coming on thank you for having me yeah